So today I'm going to show you how I am going to be flocking my Christmas tree. We don't have any snow here in California, so I wanted a snowy tree. I have flocked this one with the spray flock that you get at the store for a few years, and every year it comes off. You can see a little remnant there of what's left, so I'm going to try a new technique. Hopefully it works. Um, I'm going to be using wall texture from Home Depot and some glitter, and you're going to need a tarp, a ladder, your tree already furled up to the shape that you want it. Um, and I'm not doing it in sections because I want it to fall like it would snow. So your flocking normally wouldn't go in the middle of your tree anyways. So um, I'm going to do it this way. And then if you have a pre-lit tree, make sure it's not plugged in. Your texture is under pressure. It could start on fire or just explode in your hand. So you don't want any electricity around it. So make sure you have no electricity on or any source of spark or flame around your texture. And I'm just going to give my texture a good shaking. And I'm gonna start at the top of the tree. I'm gonna make sure that my nozzle is turned to fine. And I'm going to climb up on my ladder and just start spraying like so. And then I'm going to take some of my glitter and sprinkle it on so it kind of sets in with my wall texture. So you're going to just do this all the way down the tree, spraying from the top. See, I like that. I like it really thick. And then giving it a little bit of glitter that will hopefully show up in the Christmas lights. And you're just gonna work all the way down the tree, just spraying from the top. Like so. So it's pretty simple. It dries really quickly. And hopefully it stays longer than the regular flocking does. this side I did more of the tips than the actual inside and I really love the look of it I went really thick on the tips but not on the uh, branches and then I'll come around to this side and show you this side I did more of the branches and I tend to prefer the other side um, I think it all looks really good I'm excited to take it inside and decorate it um, but like here, it looks more like a painted tree. Whereas if you just do the tips, it looks like snow has fallen and is kind of collecting there in places. So I would recommend just doing the tips. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this project. Hopefully it works out well for you. And um, let's hope it stays until next year.